गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबउट सेवन स्टाडर्ड सैंस मेशरमेंट फर्स्ट यूनिट इन फर्स्ट यूनिट में ना पाकपो अब पातमना वाट आर दि फंडमेंटल क्वांटी वाट आर डिरेव क्वांटी वाट इस एस यूनिट दी अंड आल यू आलरे स्टडी इन सिक्स इट सेल्फ सो जस्ट अ ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन आफ फंडमेंटल क्वांटी अंड डिरेव क्वांटी अंड एस यूनिट देन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबउट डीटेल आफ ए वैल्यूम डेंसीटी अंड डिस्टन आबजेक्ट वेरी फार आबजेक्ट डिस्टन जस्ट लाइक मून सन लाइट इयर एव्री थिंग वि आर गोयिंग टू डील्स वित् दिस लेसन फर्स्ट वी आर गोयिंग टू सी अबउट फंडमेंटल क्वांटी इन डे टू डे लाइफ द फंडमेंटल क्वांटी प्ले वैटल रोल वेन यू गो फार अ शाप वाट आर थिंग्स वी आर बइयिंग इट इस हेविंग ए क्वांटी दट क्वांटी इज मेशर्ड बै फंडमेंटल यूनिट्स जस्ट एक्सापल वेन यू गो फार अ क्लाथ सेंटर वी आर टेकिंग ए क्लाथ इन द फॉर्म आफ मीटर्स same thing when you go for vegetable shops we are taking the we are buying the vegetables in the form of kilograms so this meter liter and kilogram these are said to be the fundamental quantities the derived quantities are derived from the fundamental quantities either by means of multiplication or by the divisions first we are going to see about fundamental quantities what are the fundamental quantities they are the examples just go through this thing length it is measured by meter mass it measured by kilogram time it is measured by second temperature it measured by kelvin electric current it measured by ampere amount of substance it measured by mole then last one is luminous intensity it is measured by candela luminous intensity is nothing but light how much of light brightness we are getting that is called luminous uh, for example when you buy a mobile or when you going to buy a projector that is having a luminous that luminous is showing the brightness how much of brightness we are getting from the projector or even from the uh, mobile screen or when you go for a touch screen uh, mob computer led everything having a light intensity it is emit or it emit light that is intensity is measured by means of luminous it is measured by candela the next one is derived quantity multiplication of this fundamental quantities are dividing of uh, this fundamental quantities which giving derived quantities uh, for example area volume everything is said to be derived quantities okay the first we are going to see about area here we have a tabular column just go through this tabular column it is having a area of regular shapes that means it having a specific dimension that is 2d dimension uh, that is uh, square rectangle uh, circle and uh, last one is a triangle square means we having uh, equal sides that is a into a for uh, rectangle it is uh, l into b that is uh, length is bigger than the breadth then for circle it is having a radius from the center to the edge it is having a radius this radius is multiplied by pi r square the value of pi is 22 by 7 the last one is uh, uh, triangle triangle area is find out by height and base we have to multiply height and base and multiply by half that is divided by 2 we are getting the area of an uh, regular shape just like a, a square rectangle then uh, circle and triangle like that we can find out area of a uh, regular shape with the help of formulas the next one is finding out the area of an irregular shape how to find out the area of a irregular shape just like in book we are giving a, they giving a leaf how to find out this area it is don't having a shape of rectangular square rather than a triangle so we cannot go for a formula just we place the leaf in a graph sheet then count how much of uh, the squares are covered by the leaf we have m n p and q m is nothing but full boxes how many full boxes are covered n is nothing but how much of boxes more than half is covered p is nothing but how much of box half covered q is nothing but how much of the box less than half is covered counting all the numbers then put it in the formula uh, m plus 3 by 4 into n plus 1 by 2 into p plus 1 by 4 into q we can get the number of area of a leaf so with that help of this graph method we can find out the area of an irregular shapes next we are going to see about the volume volume is nothing but a 3d structure it having three dimensional taking in a square it having a four sides all the sides are equal when you take in the box cube it having a three dimension for example uh, just take this uh, cylinder 
it is having a circle so it is two dimension when you take this cylinder it is three dimension that is it is having a radius then it having an height so where three dimension having volume because we can add something and it having capacity that is nothing but volume taking this cylinder it having a height and it having a radius then we can pour something and we can use it for measuring so it having a capacity so how much it hold that is nothing but its volume find out the volume of regular shape just like a cube cuboid uh, sphere and cylinder we have a formula just go through this uh, table or column that is cube a into a into a for cuboid l into b into h that is h is giving in height for sphere it is 4 by 3 pi r cube for cylinder it is r into h that is uh, pi r square h is nothing but area of a circle then we are multiply with height the next is now going to find out the irregular shapes area okay how to find out the irregular shape just like a stone we have a stone it not having a regular shape not a cube or not a sphere nothing so how to find out the area of this stone for example we are taking a water it is already having measuring jar it is 50 ml okay 60 ml water is there then we are adding this stone in the water first you uh, note down the initial level 60 ml then we add this stone make it fully submerged sink then the water level rise to 80 i think you can clearly observe that from the 60 to 80 the water level is increased so the volume of this stone is 20 ml so like that we can find out the irregular shapes volume with the help of a container then as liquid from that we can easily find out the volume of an irregular shapes the next is density density we can easily find out with the help of its mass and volume so from we know the mass and volume we can find out the density okay uh, same we can take this stone we have a volume of 20 ml same thing we take the stone and measure its weight with the help of an uh, beam balance or electric uh, weighing machine we can find out the weight of this stone so we know two uh, two quantities that is we have mass and volume just divide mass with its volume it, we are getting the density density of water is 1 so uh, we are taking a stone we put in the water it will go and sink when you take a wood when you place on the water it will be float because the wood having less density than the depth of water we can easily take an example of uh, taking a water then adding oil on this container oil is having a floating over the water because oil's density is less than the depth of water okay if we go and buy an oil pack we already having a oil packs just like a sunflower oils if you are buying 1 liter water 1 liter oil the weight is approximately 900 to 950 but when you take a 1 liter water it is 1 kg so 1 by 1000 kg 1000 g divided by 1000 it became 1 but when you take a oils it is 1000 ml having only 950 or 900 kg gram of oil so it became 0.9 so the uh, density of oil is less so that it will float on the water the last chapter deals with measuring larger units just like uh, light years and astronomic unit light year is nothing but you go for the uh, definition one light year is defined as the distance traveled by a light in a vacuum during the period of one year so for one year how much the light is travel it is called light year for that we having an equation that is one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power of 15 meter same way we are going to find out the astronomical unit one astronomical unit is defined as average distance between earth and the sun so it taking a, a distance sun is kept in the center then earth it is revolving around the sun so the distance between center of the sun to center of the earth is said to be astronomical unit
okay students that's all about this lesson just go through this lesson what are the doubts you having just comment in the comment section evaluation part we are sending in the answers just go through it if you have any doubts keep comment in the comment section thank you